It's been so great to see the progress. In the last couple of weeks, they have accomplished a ton of work. The framers have been working hard. They framed the second floor and they've put on the roof. The trusses and the roof sheeting are mostly done. We've still got some spots left to do, but let me show you what they've done this past week. The master bedroom. And the closet and the bathroom. The roof has all gone in. Obviously it's not shingled and waterproofed yet, but the sheeting is on. Is that fabulous view? And my goodness, have we had the most incredible fall weather this year. It's just stunning outside. It's been like 15 to 20 degrees during the day. It only froze maybe two nights, I think, so far. So coming out of the master, look at all this awesome roof. We still need stairs. That's gonna be later this week. The trusses and the sheeting. To our super bathroom for our kids. This is gonna be great for our soon-to-be teenagers. Getting ready in the morning for school. Another bedroom, so the support beams have come out because the roof trusses are on. A double closet in here, a double-double. Two double doors on the closet. Fabulous giant windows. I can't even express to you how awesome these double, or these giant windows are. They're huge. I don't even know how to show you a comparison. Here's my hand. Right by these nails. It's pretty big. Another bedroom has a double double. Give me a full wall of closets. And back in the hallway, it's gonna be a giant linen closet and a little linen closet. So in our current house, this is all I have for the entirety of our towels and bedding and linens in our current home. It is not enough. There's a front bedroom. And this one has a little walk-in closet with the window in there. The window, of course, wasn't important in the closet, but it balanced out the exterior aesthetics of the house. Let me take you down to the studio because it has a roof now too. There's a studio entry. The roof going up. This will probably be closed off tomorrow. And then they can take down all the bracing on the walls. And our garage still needs half a roof. Those trusses are gonna go on probably tomorrow too. I'll show you from the outside. Here's the front of the house. Obviously we still need some roof to go there. And this is gonna be an entryway that comes out with two posts covering an overhang into our front door. We're missing some roof still on the side of the garage. And there's the studio roof. Pretty incredible to see it going up. Framing's the fast part. Once it's all closed off, it's gonna take a lot longer on the inside to finish up. But we are so excited and so grateful. It's been such a blessing. Let's go check it out. The guy behind me just thought I was taking pictures with him. <laughs> Come see what they did today. Okay, I gotta flip this so you can see. Oh my goodness, they've done so much. Check it out. Whoa. 
fall here. We got our awesome beams up. Check this out. So those beams are gonna be exposed and all this portion underneath will be stonework. I'm assuming that will be more concrete and dirt leveling. But look at this entryway, how exciting. I've got the stairs framed in to pour next week. And that goes straight into our entryway. That's so awesome. The roof is finished going up. All the trusses are in, all the sheeting's on. And come see the steps up to my studio. I'm so excited to walk up the door and go in there. <gasps> Here it is. This is gonna be up to Jen Isaacson Photography. Da -da -da -da. So excited. And there's something else in the back, apparently, I need to see, that I wasn't expecting today. There's gonna be a little wall on the side too because the stairwell is so high that's gonna have to have rails. But come check out what they did in the back today. <gasps> we have a deck! Ah! Man, I didn't think this was going in until next week. Check it out! Oh man, it's nice. I love it. And if you can't hear that, the geese are going crazy. I'm gonna get pooped on. Ah, please don't poop on me. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> this is what you get for living by lake. The geese are always here. Oh my goodness, it's awesome. So I can't go, whoa. I just walked on the zoom boom. Let me flip it here. I can't walk up there yet because there's no floor on it. Well, I could, but I'm clumsy. So it's very likely I would fall through the crack. I'm not gonna try it. So this portion of the deck is narrower where it comes off the kitchen. And then on the other side, better watch where I'm stepping. It's a hazard zone. The other side is deeper. And this part will be uncovered. Uncovered deck. Let's go up here. Oh, I can't go high enough to the covered deck. <laughs> so exciting. Some of the window wrappings on. The windows are going in pretty quick here. I'm gonna duck and cover from the geese. I'll take you back inside, to show you the deck off of the living room and to protect my head from poop. Isn't that exciting? It's getting pretty chilly now. I'm afraid to say it. W word is coming. I can't walk up these dirt stairs, so I'm gonna go up this garage ladder here. Come follow me. I think next week, garage doors are possibly getting installed. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna go up to the second floor today. The ladder's down and I probably can't even lift it by myself. Okay, we are in kitchen. I'm standing right now in my office nook in the kitchen, the control center. There's going to be a desk behind me, a little counter. You know the junk stuff that comes home from school, calendars, agendas, all that lovely stuff. A phone, because we still have a landline. Call us old fashioned, but I don't want my kids to have cell phones. And so their friends can call them on the landline. And because they don't have cell phones, they need a phone for emergency purposes. So when we leave our kids at home with my oldest babysitting, they need to be able to call in case of an emergency. So we have a landline. That's where it's gonna go. Check this out. Deck. 
Oh man. I'm gonna flip it. Here's the deck. I have got a, a selfie stick here. Here is the deck. This is the deep portion off of the living room and underneath our master bedroom. It's all gonna be railed in. This portion is open, has no cover. And on that side coming out of the kitchen will be covered. Let's go over there. This is right out of our sliding door here. And the rest of our patio. I do not know what's going on over there, but it's really noisy. Let's go see. Some big truck is dumping something. Oh, look, it's a bobcat. Is he taking the dirt away? Somebody wants some dirt. <laughs> no big deal to me. I don't need it. All right, let's go back. This is a kitchen window where one of our sinks is gonna be. We'll stand here and do dishes. There's another sink in the island. Yeah, this part of the deck is gonna be covered. It's not built yet, obviously. And down below on the lake side, that's where our hot tub's gonna go. Under there, nice and covered and sheltered. And if you didn't notice before, let's see if I can zoom in here. We're building a playground right outside our backyard. Our kids are super excited. There's a swing set. I heard it should open probably next week. It's probably a really good thing there's going to be a park there because we told the kids we're not taking our play set from our backyard with us because our kids are getting bigger and it's just not worth it to move it to our new house. We want a play set back there. Our oldest is 11 and our youngest is only five, but there's a park right there. See? They can go there and play anytime now. Pretty exciting. This is the view of the deck from my studio. On this side, we're gonna have a spiral staircase going down to the ground, the backyard. From my studio. So exciting. It's all coming together. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've stopped keeping track of what week it is. Apparently, I went back and looked at my last week's video and I said, welcome back to week three. And considering we're about at week 11 right now, I think I was a little confused. So I'm just gonna totally stop with the numbers and in the title of the video, it's gonna tell you what week we're on because it's just too much. And this is gonna go on for like seven more months. So week numbers for me are out been too long now I can't keep track we're almost at three months of building it's come a long way and the most exciting steps have gone up the construction and the framing and once things get closed in it'll just be inside work inside framed walls and staircases and the whole drywalling insulating mudding taping trim cabinets plumbing all that good stuff 